Hey everybody, uh, I'm going to talk to you about how to access the databases so that you can find resources so that you can do your annotated bibliography and from there your research paper. So there are two main things that I'm going to show you today and I don't know if I'll get to both of them in this one video, but I'll give it a shot. I may break it up in two videos, we'll find out. So first thing you want to do is to access the Lone Star databases, you go to lonestar.edu and from here, depending on how quick your computer is, mine's kind of slow right now, you go over to the Libraries tab. Come on. And it's taking its sweet time, but you're going to go over to the Libraries tab and you're going to click on Research Databases. And from there, you're going to scroll down and this is an English class and so the thing that most relates to English as far as the subject is literature. So you're going to click on literature and you are looking for literary criticism articles. These are articles written by experts in the field that will discuss the various works that we read and so these people are, think of them like movie critics. They're basically book critics. They read the books and they tell you what they think about them and why. So you click on literary criticism articles and you have several choices. They have this database, which is basically Gale. They have EBSCO, Literary Reference Center. They have JSTOR, Project Muse, and Academic Search Complete. Personally, I like Gale the best. So I'm gonna click on Gale. And again, depending on how fast your connection is, this may take a minute. And once it loads up, I'll show you what to do. Now, typically, when you get to this point, it's going to stop and it's going to ask you for your barcode, which is on the back of your Lone Star ID. I've already typed mine in, so it's not asking me for mine. It just takes me straight to the database. But the first time you do this, it's going to ask you for your barcode number. This barcode number is on the back of your ID card. If you don't have an ID card, uh, you have two options. You can either go to the library and go to the second floor up to the circulation desk and get an ID card, or you can call the library and ask them for your barcode number and they will ask you for your student ID number. You tell them that, and they should tell you your barcode number over the phone. Either way you do it, you're gonna enter that 14 digit code, and it's gonna take you to the database. So to get from here to any of these, you need that 14 digit code. It'll open up a new tab and take you to your database. So Gale Literature Resource Center automatically opens into their advanced search. If the one that you choose doesn't click on advanced search right away, then make sure that you click on advanced search wherever it happens to be on these various databases. So this one already does it for me. So I'm going to type in, I can type in a keyword that I'm looking for, the name of the work, or the person. I like to start kind of broad just to see how many sources I'm working with before I start to narrow it down. So I'm going to type in the open boat and this one already has the option so I'm going to click on short story and this one is by Stephen Crane so I'm going to type in Stephen Crane and I'm going to hit well before I hit search I'm going to come down here and I'm going to select my content type I'm not looking for biographies or multimedia or anything like that. I am looking for literature criticism. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to leave all the other options alone. And I'm going to click. I'm going to sift, uh, select, sorry, search. Now, I know there's many more than that on here. It only came up with one. But that's good enough for our purposes here. Um, I know that there's many more than one, so I would just go back and I would just refine my search. So for now, we'll just go with this. 
So I'm going to click on the essay. Here's the article. Looks like it's kind of a long one. If that pops up, just click no. So this one looks like it's kind of a long article, and that's fine. I'll show you in a minute what you can do with that. So, but I want to show you a couple of things. So this article is kind of long. You don't have to read the whole thing. Uh, but at the bottom is the source citation. If you take this and copy and paste this right here, just highlight it and then control C to copy, control V to paste, that's your source citation. And then you just make it double space, 12 point font times New Roman. And that goes on your works cited page. But let's say I like this article, I wanna keep it. Um, I have several options. Well, there's the citation tools up here. I can download this article for later use. I can print it, which is always the best option because I've found with some students in the past when they try to download them, they don't always uh, download the entire article or glitches or any number of things. So I like to print the articles. Um, you can save them to your file, whatever. So uh, let's say I want to search for something specific. I can type, I can hit Control F, and let's say I'm going to type in boat. Okay, now I can hit the up and down arrows, and I can look at specific lines that deal with boats. And that way, instead of reading the entire article, I'm just reading certain sentences that may relate to the open boat. And that'll save me a lot of reading. So uh, that's option number one, the resource databases, research databases on Lone Star. I can go to the Literary Reference Center, which is EBSCO, and I can do the same thing. This one looks a little bit different. I'm going to click on Advanced Search. Try it again. I'm going to click on Advanced Search. I'm going to type in the open boat. It will be the title. Um, I'm going to then go down to Document Type. and select literary criticism. If you want to mess with all the other stuff, you can. Personally, I just leave it all alone. And then I select search. This has 14 options, much better. So I can select this, uh, this uh, journal. And apparently, need to go back to my results list because that didn't work. So not a good start. Let's try the PDF text. And it looks like this will be what I want if it loads up. Wait for it. OK, and so this looks like it's several pages. Oh, there we go. So I can still hit Control F and type in the word I want, and it'll go through the article and look for specific words that I'm looking for. So again, Control F. I can then add this to a folder, I can save this to my Google Drive, I can print it, which is always my favorite option because, you know, technology doesn't always play well. I can download this PDF, I can print it. Um, there should be an option over here for the source citation. There it is, cite. So I click on cite, and I scroll down till I see MLA, and here it is. I just copy and paste this into my paper. And that's really all there is to it. So find six sources, or however many sources I've assigned for your class, to uh, do this paper.